to our channel we had a lovely day out yesterday me and Dougie my husband and the two little ones Teddy and Florence as we dropped our big two off at their grandma's in Harrogate we decided to go for a nice lunch and then shopping in town and so I, I jumped at the chance of going to visit Jojo Mum or Bibi as if anybody follows me on Instagram or knows me that I do love Jojo for my children's clothes Finlay and Daisy both wore them and then unfortunately I probably didn't keep that much because I didn't know we were going to have four, so I didn't hand that much down to them, just a few little bits. So now again, I'm getting to buy all new stuff for Teddy and Florence, that Jojo is one of our favourite brands for children's clothing. And so it was. I was quite excited to be able to go into the shop and see their range in store rather than online for a change. And so I, I had just been chatting about our day out and the lovely Laurie Sharp from which I will link her channel in this description box. She pointed out that I needed to do a Jojo haul and I thought, yeah, of course, why hadn't I thought about doing a Jojo haul? That would just make sense. So this is a mini Jojo haul because we haven't got masses of stuff, but we've got a reasonable amount. So it's enough to do a video. So that's quite exciting as I've never done one like this before. Um, I haven't, in fact, I think this is our, my first shopping haul video ever. So that is quite exciting. So first up we have so some Crocs just as they are crocs <laughs> so uh, they are for teddy and they are size 10 i think they were and so they're just a nice royal blue rather navy for change and they are for him to go to nursery and just run about in the garden and he needed some crocs and i remembered when i was there i'd forgotten that these are the crocs that we used to buy daisy all the time and they are a better value than the croc brand um, price wise I think and she used to be she used to get along with them really fine and they lasted well all summer for her and so when I saw them I thought brilliant I'm gonna grab Teddy a pair so and he likes them he's um, a bit disgruntled that I have borrowed these for the video because he's gone outside and can't wear them so he was a bit disgruntled about that so that was the first thing we got then we bought some sun hats now Teddy had this one as a baby so I would jump the chance to get it again because it reminds me of him when he was um, a little baby in the summer. He's got a chin strap as well and it's just the nautical striped sun hat which is one of their classic ranges and so he's got that and it will also as you'll see in a minute go with the, an outfit that I've bought him as well uh, but he will wear that all the time all through summer. In Florence I am Denard a lot. She's got a lovely floral Jojo sun hat at the moment which is too small. Because she's still little I decided to opt for plain white because I can get away with it still and it will go with a lot of her outfits because I do like her to have quite a bit of dresser and quite a bit of white and again it has a chin strap uh, just a velcro one I can't get undone now it just velcros under her chin and so stops her pulling it off so just we'll go over everything it's just got a little floral pattern in there with the white stitching and then we are going to a wedding in July, a family wedding, and so I decided whilst I was in there, I hadn't set out to do it, I just was going for a mooch, but then I realised what better place to buy some lovely smart wedding outfit for them. So for Florence, I didn't. she has got some dresses and there were some lovely dresses there, but I decided, because she's still little, I'd like to dress her in uh, as a baby. And so I've got this lovely tunic and it's got a Peter Pan collar with a little bit like half stars on them. I don't know if you can see them there. Yes, you can. And then it's got a pink bow around it. And then going further down, it's just got a floral pattern on there. And I just thought that was quite simple and classic. That is £14. Now the sun hats were £10 each, sorry I forgot to say, and the crocs were £12. Um, so they've got frilly bottoms and they are broad broderie on glaze as well. And so they will go uh, underneath the tunic, which will come a little bit further down than her bottom anyway probably. And that'll be a really nice matching outfit with the hat as well. So um, obviously if it's chilly, which hopefully it won't be in July down south, 
I will, I've got a lovely white cardigan that she will wear with it as well. And then I'll have to just cover in the biggest bib ever to make sure she doesn't get her lunch all over her lovely white clothes. So she'll probably have to have some kind of huge bib around her, at, all over her, to stop her from spilling her food on that lovely outfit. I found this great shirt. It, when I walked in, it was the first thing I spotted and thought, brilliant. I'm hoping it's not too big because I actually realised I got him age four to five and he's still three, but he's a very big three-year-old. And so I'm hoping it'll be fine to try it on him. But it's got elephants and palm trees and elephants drinking from water. So it's like a safari navy and white print. I'm going to bring it closer. It is absolutely adorable. I love it. And let me show you the buttons. So the buttons are like a brown fawn colour. And that is the shirt. It has a pocket. It's a bit like a Hawaiian shirt but with an African feel to it with the elephant. It's brilliant. I love it. Can't wait to see him in it. And to go with that, I bought him some new shorts. He's nice and smart. And again, I got age four to five, but that's great because they'll last for next summer as well. Shorts always seem to last another year. And so I'll get great value out of it. Sorry, oh, sorry, the shirt was 15 pounds. Well worth it, I think, because it's just so different. It's lovely. And then these shorts are, they're twill canvas baggies. And they are navy, four to five. You can get a deal, say five pound when you buy two. But because I was buying other items and he has already got these in red. I think he's got two pairs in red, so I don't need any more. And they are 16 pounds. And they are the cargo ones with the pockets there. And there. And they're just really comfy, adjustable waist. The nice nautical lining inside. And then pockets on the reverse on their bottom and so they're great because they're the twill canvas ones they're really robust he'll wear them all next year at nursery and in the summer next year and he'll wear them after the wedding so he doesn't ruin them by doing anything daft um he'll wear them again afterwards and so he will have his lovely elephant shirt the navy shorts and his sun hat that will all match it on top of those things we've got one more thing we've got an elmer toy we walked in there and teddy saw it he fell in love with it and he gave up his dummy by himself with our little bit of our encouragement about a week ago and so he had been told by his big brother who had a dummy also that the dummy elves come and bring you a present and so he'd walked into Jojo and immediately found this Elmer elephant and loved it and so we asked the shop assistants who must have thought we were a bit crazy to try and put it in secretly which they seem to quite enjoy doing and we brought it home and he opened the door this morning and his dummy had gone from the doorstep and Elmer was there instead, which was so exciting for him. And so Elmer's gone everywhere with him today. And so he's out at the moment in the garden with Elmer in a backpack because he's been um, cycling. And so when he comes in in a minute, I will show you Elmer because it's just fab. It's brilliant. And I think Elmer was £10. So he's back from playing in the garden. <coughs> and he's got Elmer to show you. Let's put it a little bit back, further back from the camera. You can miss up on his knee so we can see you too. But you're getting very heavy. See, he's a very big three-year-old. So where's Elmer? There he is. Head? What's his name? Has he been on Mummy's head? Yeah. So this is the lovely Elmer. So do you think it's worth... Finding this lovely Elmer, Teddy? Yes. And how did you get him? Uh, you had a wish, didn't you? <laughs> and you wished through the letterbox, didn't you? And you said, what did you say last night when you put your dummy outside? What did you say? I wish for an Elmer. I wish for an Elmer and Elmer came. Yeah. So, from bye-bye from Team Steen with Mummy and... Elmer. From Charlotte and Elmer and Teddy. Teddy. Say bye bye. Bye bye, you two. You <laughs> see, press like if you like the video. No, not don't press it. Press like if you like the video. Say it. Say press like. Press like. And say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. And then say bye-bye. Bye-bye.